A devastated family that lost two people in that drag racing crash in Kerrville is now talking about that tragedy. They told Courtney Friedman about the little boy and loving woman they lost and their disbelief that they're gone. She was an amazing little brother. <laughs> that kid always made me laugh. I don't know how. He was grateful for everything. Tears falling. 23-year-old Abel Martinez III talked about his smart, loving 8-year-old brother Santiago Martinez, who was killed during a drag racing event Saturday in Kerrville when a car flew off the track. I was planning to see him Saturday after the races. Santiago was pinned against a trailer when the car lost control at the finish line, crashing through the crowd where there were no barriers. Laid to rest yesterday, the little boy leaves behind his parents, two older siblings and two younger ones, who saw Santiago as their hero. He always protected my tail, daughter, my little sister. She's two years old. He always looked after her. That's why he wanted to become a knight, because he said he wanted to take care of the queen. Santiago died next to his aunt, 46-year-old Rebecca Cedillo, who was hospitalized until Wednesday when she died from her injuries. I used to call her every single morning, but now I feel so bad because I'm not going to be able to talk to her. Tanya Flores is Cedillo's sister-in-law, but says they were close, like true sisters. She says she'll help care for Cedillo's 12- and 15-year-old children like they're her own. Today, we also spoke to the two attorneys representing those families. They have not filed a lawsuit yet, but plan to do so within a week or so as they still investigate right now, figuring out who to name in that lawsuit. Coming up at six, you'll hear from those attorneys. For now, reporting from those law offices, Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.